90% of DeFi protocols are scams and Ponzi schemes. What's going on? In this video, I wanna talk about the truth and the reality. And no, this is not FUD. I know Moon Boys are gonna say this is fear, unbelief, doubt, blah, 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 blah. This is reality because I genuinely, sincerely wanna help people that don't understand the game, that may be newer to DeFi, all these projects coming out every day. In the bull run, everything pumps, right? So in the bull run, it's really easy to make some big gains. In the bear market, a lot of stuff gets weeded out, which is healthy and it's actually good. But I wanna tell you right now, because I've had, I had people reaching out to me, asking me about certain projects. Well, there's certain things you need to look at to qualify before you decide to invest in something, okay? One, who is the developer of the project? Do they have a history? Do they show you their face or their name? Are they doxxed, KYC'd? Do they have any kind of history of success in something other than crypto or DeFi? Or are they a ghost? If they are a ghost, it is a red flag. If you don't see their face, if you don't know their name, if they're not docs, there's no KYC, there is no accountability and it is easy to rob you. That's why when people in the streets rob people, smart, smarter criminals, because you're not smart if you're a criminal, period, they put on a mask. So you cannot see their identity. So when people do not reveal their identity, it's because they know they're doing something they're not supposed to be doing. Let me say this too. I'm about to go in on this video. There are people right now in the DeFi space that are committing fraud. They're breaking federal, federal laws and they're setting themselves up, right? So it is illegal to do a lot of things that people are doing. So you need to know the laws as well. Now, back to what I was saying. Two. Is the liquidity locked? Okay? If the liquidity is not locked, guess what? They can rug pull you. Three. What marketers are promoting the project? Is there paid marketing? Right? Is there referrals? And this is an important one. What generates the return on investment? This is where you discern between a Ponzi and a real investment. A project, like I was looking at a project today, right? And they have, they're telling you what they're gonna do. My question is this, why are you raising capital now, taking investors' money, if you don't even know what your treasury is? And red flag, don't invest. If you do not have a solid business model, and you go to a group of multimillionaires, or you go to Shark Tank, right, for example, and you say, hey, I need this much money to do this project. And they say, okay, Show us, the first thing they say, let us see your business model, your business plan. So if a project doesn't know how they're gonna generate the yield for your money, don't invest your money with them. Okay, I'm about to, I'm about to help you out, I promise you. Here's another thing you can do. Go back six months ago, three months ago, nine months ago, a year ago, weeks ago. Look at projects that were shilled by influencers, right? Or projects that you invested in and look at your uh, spreadsheet or your log, which you should have, and see how much money you've made or how much money you've lost. Then look at the ratio of how many projects you've made money and how many projects you've lost. I'll tell you right now, most people lose money in DeFi. And, and this video is actually gonna help you, okay? most people lose money in DeFi, right? And they say, well, diversify, or if you can't afford to lose it, don't invest. That's stupid. Like when I, I know I say that sometimes too, but like I'm so tired of hearing that and I'm probably gonna stop saying that because that's basically telling somebody you're gonna lose your money, right? Why would I wanna invest my money if I'm considering to lose it all? That's stupid, that's dumb. Go find an investment that is legit, that has a track record of history, that is legal, okay? Here's another, I'm gonna tell you the game right now, I'm about to, I'm about to expose right now, check this out. You wanna know the whole game? 
if you get value out of this video, please tell me what your opinion is. If what I'm saying is true or if what I'm saying is false. Let me know if you agree or if you disagree, it's perfectly fine. Let me know in the comments. I'm going to read the comments. I'm going to respond to the comments. I'm going to engage with the community more. So check this out. This is what people do. They get together. They say, hey, let's create a project, right? We're going to raise a bunch of capital and we're going to be insiders on the project and we're going to make all the money. Let's get us some marketers and they're going to bring in all the money. We get our bags first, right? Not to mention they, their dev designed the smart contracts, right? So 99% of it, investors don't understand anything about code, okay? So guys, it's literally like me saying right now, let's start a bank right now, right? And we're gonna, I'm gonna collect a bunch of money from everybody and I'll, I'll buy, buy why? Because I'm selling you a dream that later you're gonna get more money back. Give me all your money now and later I'm gonna give you back 10 times more. Guys, I'm, I'm, I promise, this is gonna help you, okay? I'm having fun right now. So, people make projects for the sole purpose of making themselves richer. They use their audience. This is not everybody, of course, right? But I'm telling you a pattern. They use you. They pimp you, okay? And the, the funny thing is, they got a bunch of people praising them and worshiping them like there's some godsend when they're making money off of you. They got in at a penny. You got in at a dollar. They already 100 x As an example, how is that doing you a favor? You know what I'm saying? Now, 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 on the other side, let me say this now. Ponzi-nomics, what are Ponzi's? Ponzi scheme is simple. It's when you pay old investors with new investors money. This is good, here's the key, it's coming to me right now. Here's another thing, when you are trading, right? There's winners and there's losers. In all reality, when you're in this game, you're either losing your money to somebody else or you're taking somebody else's money, okay? Depending on what kind of an investment vehicle it is, but usually that's what trading is. It's you against the market, which means it's you against somebody else. So you can make money on Ponzi schemes. I have, right? You might have made money on Ponzi schemes. I'm gonna tell you something else even more powerful, right? The Federal Reserve Bank is not federal, it's not a reserve, and it's not a bank. It itself is a Ponzi scheme. The Federal Reserve Bank is a group of private people that print money at will. They give the money to governments. Now the government owns them, owes them at an interest rate, and then the government pays them through your taxes and through inflation. You might have to rewind that. That'll change your life right there. So the entire system of money as we know it, the US dollar, 44 Bretton Woods Agreement, US dollar was made the reserve currency of the whole world. 72, President Nixon severed the dollar from the gold standard. The dollar became a fiat currency, meaning up until 72, you could go to the bank with your paper money, which was a receipt, and you could get your brick of gold. 72, that stopped. You could no longer get your brick of gold. Now all you have is a piece of paper. 40% of all US dollars have been printed in the last 12 months. There's all, it, it, it goes deep. I'm not gonna go too deep, right? But it's all market manipulation. There's going to be a major crash and there's gonna be a, no, a new economic system put in place, but that's another video. Point of what I'm saying is this. You almost can't get mad, but you have to know the game. So what I'm doing now is I'm giving you the game. You can make money on Ponzi schemes, okay? If you get in at the right time, but this is my thing for you. I want you to understand when you invest in something, I want you to be able to look at it because I can even know a developer or a marketer or whatever, I know their game, but I can still make money. But I'm not gonna turn around and lie and mislead other people and sell people a dream, right? Because what people are not gonna teach you is actually how to do your own research. Look at what percentage of the supply is owned by the top wallets. If the top 10 wallets own 80% of the supply of a token, 
guess what? You don't want to invest. <laughs> it's an inside job, okay? Come on, connect the dots. Man. So, you can make money on Ponzi schemes. A Ponzi scheme is simply when one person invests money and then later investors pay out the profit for the early investors. Now, when you have compounding projects, I'm driving, so you gotta bear with my camera as I turn, do a U-turn. When you have compounding projects, you have exponential growth, okay? So it's like, it's kinda like this. Compound interest works like this. This, it starts to curve a little bit, 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 and then it takes off. All these people that get in at the beginning over here, right? They get in at the bottom and they accumulate. If you're getting in over here, you're exit liquidity. You're not making any money. Why? Because there's too many people with bags that are too big that the number of people coming in can no longer compete with the amount of payouts going out daily. Put the pieces together. Come on, I'm trying to educate you. I'm trying to help you, right? I don't know everything, but I know something, right? I know a few things, and if I'm saying something that's helping you, tell me in the comments. If I'm missing something, tell me in the comments, right? If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. If I'm right, tell me I'm right. Please tell me who else is telling you this stuff, right? What does it benefit me if I wanted to use you to make myself money to tell you this stuff? Anyways, guys, when you help people, you'll be helped. This is a kingdom principle. When you do good unto others, good will be done unto you. You will reap what you sow. So when people are stealing and taking and conniving and all that, they're actually hurting themselves. And you don't want to do that, right? The real key, one of the keys to success is helping people. So most projects, and I'll say this too, founders change the names of projects, but it's the same people behind a lot of projects. It's the same people. Think about it. Think about it now. Stop thinking like a D-Gen and think like a real investor, okay? Think about it. If somebody creates a project, right, and it rugs, exploits, or these dummies, people are so dumb, I don't even understand. Like, if I was going to scam people, I would be smart about it. I wouldn't be stupid about it. Why would you just rug pull and make it obvious? Why would you not design a protocol where you can constantly pay yourself for months on end? I, you know, I wouldn't do that, but I'm saying like, I don't even understand why they just rug pull like that. You're not smart enough to design the contract a certain way and to get your bags in order and in line. I like, guys, I'm just, I'm just trying to tell you, man, because people are like this. Oh, this new project. Oh, that new project. They done lost money on the last 10 projects. And they're still, it's like, bro, are you serious? You didn't learn the last nine times? It's the same developers, same marketers sometimes. It's the same thing. They're taking money because they're, they're it's called hitting the lick. All right, when you're in the streets and you rob somebody, it's called hitting the lick. All right, these people are hitting licks, all right? So don't let them hit a lick on you. I hope that this blesses you, man. I'm trying to just keep it honest, keep it real. I don't want this video to be too long. I'm not hating on nobody, right? I'm trying to teach naive people, and not naive, you're not naive. I'm trying to teach people that don't understand the back end of this game what's really going on, right? And I'm focusing on bringing real value of real investments, right? Not just crypto either. Where if you if you add up all the money you lost in these stupid investments and these DGEN plays, right? I could tell you right now, you can 10x your money in the next one to two years just by buying Bitcoin. If you got 10K, if you got a thousand dollars and you buy Bitcoin today, you're gonna 10x your money in the next one to two years. What else is gonna give you a 10x? But people, they're not patient. Listen, when you're not patient, you get wrecked. You gotta be patient. The real play, and I'm gonna be sharing this, I'll share some things. If you get value out of what I'm saying, look, join my patron. Like, I share things in there. I don't share on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Because people that get in there, they value me and, you know, and 
Like it's not it's not like, you know, it's not like changing my life, right? But I do appreciate all the people in my patron. I'll say that. And there's just things I really can't necessarily or won't share on YouTube. And I'm gonna be sharing more of these things, right? So if you're serious, and if it's not me, find somebody that you resonate with that's actually making money. Like, I make money outside of YouTube. I don't need to do YouTube, right? I have other investments. I have multiple streams of income, right? I've done real estate, I've done e-com. I mean, I'm not even gonna get into it, right? I've ran huge businesses. Like, guys, there's lucrative real investments but they're usually not gonna 10X you in one day. Now there is ways, remember, if you go back to my videos eight months ago, 10 months ago, I was calling 10, 20, 30, 50 Xs trading tokens, okay? And I'm probably, I may get back into that some more. <clears throat> so there's a way where you go against the grain and you don't do what everybody else is doing, right? But you have to have the understanding of how these projects work. You have to understand that most of the time, do you think people are creating crypto projects to help you out? <laughs> Come on. Do you think people are at home creating a project to make you money? No. Human, the fallen human nature. Most people are selfish, greedy, and will lie, steal, and cheat to get ahead it's unfortunate but anyways guys like the video let me know what you think i want to get some feedback i've got a few uh comments i got to get back to um let me know if i'm being real if you consider this fud i mean i'm interested to know what people think i know moon boys are going to be offended the people doing this stuff are damn sure going to be offended but i don't care I'm not afraid to show my face on camera. I don't hide who I am. I fear no man. So somebody needs to expose what's going on. And, you know, I have lost five grand in a day. I've lost more than that in a day. And I've lost those kinds of amounts of money when I didn't have much money at all. It sucks to put a lot of money into a project, right? And there's projects, excuse me, <clears throat> there's projects right now, and I don't wish this upon anybody, but I've seen videos of people saying, I just put 10 grand into this project, and I cringe. And I'm like, bro, I've seen this so many times. I feel bad for them. I just saw a guy yesterday, I just put 20 grand into this project. I'm like, bro, you about to lose all that money, bro. I've seen this happen dozens and dozens of times. That's why, and I even made money in that project, but I know when to get in and when to get out, right? I know the game. So once you know the game, you can know how to play the game. So even with all of that being said, there's still ways to make money. If you get in early, if you're part of the people that get in early, right? But what I'm saying is we don't need you don't you don't need to rob people and mislead people and lie to people. Be honest and be real. If I make a project, I'm gonna be like, look, I'm making money on this project. You understand? Like I'm gonna do it legit though, and I'm not gonna be playing a freaking game like I'm your hero, but really I'm taking all your money. So, anyways, I hope this helped, guys. Until the next time, my links will be in the description. I have some projects on there that I'm invested in, that I'm making money on, and I am really, really putting a lot of time into bringing a lot of value. So stay with me. I appreciate those loyal people that uh, show love and support. If you're not in the Patreon, you'd like to join, go ahead and join. If not, it's fine. It's all good. But find somebody, because I'll tell you this right now. A $500 investment recently just opened up something to me that is potentially going to be... <laughs> I don't even know how to put a number on it. 10 to 50X possibly. So you wanna get high value information. You wanna find people that are making real investments and that have been successful outside of crypto. And you wanna, you wanna mimic millionaires. You wanna see what they're doing and you wanna do what they're doing. So anyways, 
Like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, join the Patreon. All the links are in the description. I got reviews. I got tutorials. Get ready for some banging content. God bless.